Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about left recursion. If there is a production of the form A derives A alpha, then it is said to have left recursion. It means if uh, there is a production whose first symbol of the string which is at uh, right hand side is the variable which is at its left hand side, then that production uh, will be said to have left recursion. Now how we can eliminate left recursion from productions of a grammar without affecting its language. Now see there is a grammar G defined by quadruple VTPS where V is the set of variables, T is the set of terminals, P is the set of productions and S is the start symbol. In this grammar G, there is a left recursive pair of productions A derives A alpha and A derives beta where beta is a string which doesn't begin with variable A. It means it is a string whose first symbol is not variable A. Then how we can remove left recursion of this production? We can remove left recursion of this production by adding a variable b to set v and replacing this pair of productions by these productions in grammar g that is a derives beta b, b derives alpha b, b derives empty string. Right. So what we have to do? To remove left recursion, first we have added a variable b to set v and then we have replaced these productions by these productions a derives beta b, b derives alpha b, b derives empty string in grammar g. Now see this, here there is an empty production b derives empty string. Now if we remove empty production from these productions right then we will get these productions right a derives beta b a derives beta b derives alpha b b derives alpha right so if we don't want empty productions then we should replace these productions by these productions in grammar G. So when we replace these productions by either these production or these productions in grammar G, the language of grammar G will not be affected. Right? Language of grammar G will remain same. But the left recursion will be removed from these productions. Thank you very much. Now suppose, uh, for example, there is a grammar G defined by quadruple VTPS where V is the set of variables, T is the set of terminals, P is the set of production rules and S is the start symbol. Now there is a recursive pair of production in this grammar G. A derives AC and A derives terminal A. Now we have to eliminate left recursion from these productions. For this we will add a new variable B to set V and we will replace these productions by these productions. A derives A B A derives A B derives C B B derives C. Right. If we replace these productions by these productions, right, then the language generated by the grammar G will not be affected. Now see what type of strings can be generated by these production rules. If we use the production rule A drives beta, then a string beta will be generated. But if we use A drives A alpha, right? 
and suppose again we have applied the production rule a drives a alpha again we have applied the production rule a drives a alpha and at last somewhere we will have to use the production rule a drives beta right so the string which will be generated will have substring beta at their starting it means uh, the string which can be generated by these production rules will be of the form beta alpha raised to power n means a string in which beta will appear at its starting this substring beta will appear in a starting and after beta there will be n number of alpha where n is greater than or equal to 0 now see these production rules a drives beta b and b drives alpha b and b drives empty string now see what type of the strings can be generated there is one production for the variable a that is a drives beta b when we apply a drives beta b after that for variable b we can apply either a production b drives i'm testing or b drives alpha b when we apply the production rule b drives i'm testing then a string beta will be generated right and when we apply the production rule b drives alpha b right again we can apply this production rule b drives alpha b and so on and at last we will have to apply the production rule b drives empty string right so the string which will be generated by using these production rules will be of the form beta alpha raised to power n it means the strings which are generated by these production rules will have substring beta at their starting and after that there will be n number of alphas where n will be greater than or equal to 0 so it means if we replace these production rules by these production rules in grammar g the language generated by grammar g will not be affected thank you very much